When the hairdresser Anna decides to cut an elderly woman's hair without charging, the new owner of the salon reacts drastically. Minutes later, the city's mayor arrives at the salon looking for Anna, revealing the true identity of the elderly woman and bringing with him a surprise that will change Anna's destiny forever. Discover how a simple act of kindness transformed the life of this dedicated hairdresser. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. In the heart of the city, a beauty salon was more than just a simple beauty establishment. It was a true refuge for those seeking not just a haircut, but a warm and friendly experience. The welcoming atmosphere and personalised service had transformed the salon into a special place where clients felt valued and understood. Anna, a dedicated and passionate hairstylist, had worked at the salon for a decade. Her journey at the salon began humbly. At that time, she was a young woman with many dreams of growing in her profession. Mrs. Marta, the salon's former owner, saw something special in Anna from the very beginning. The encounter between Anna and Mrs. Marta was like the start of a beautiful friendship. Anna was initially hired as an assistant, but she quickly stood out for her skill, creativity, and above all, her genuine empathy toward the clients. Over time, Mrs. Marta began to see Anna as more than just an employee. She considered her a close friend. The bond between the two was strengthened through countless conversations and shared laughter during long workdays. The two went through many significant moments together. They celebrated birthdays, shared personal stories, and even faced professional and personal challenges side by side. Anna, in turn, admired Mrs. Marta's wisdom and kindness, and saw her as a maternal figure and a constant source of inspiration. When Mrs. Marta's health began to decline, she made sure the salon would continue to be a special place. She entrusted Anna with the role of taking care of the salon as if it were her own legacy. Their relationship evolved into a partnership based on mutual trust and profound respect. But with Mrs. Marta's recent retirement, the salon had been sold and was now under the management of Claudia. From the first day, Claudia seemed to have a constant critical eye on Anna, the dedicated hairdresser who had been a fundamental part of the salon's success for the past decade. There was something about the way the new owner watched the hairdresser that conveyed a deep desire to reaffirm her authority. The new owner saw in Anna a figure of great influence in the salon, and this perception seemed to be a challenge for her. Every action of Anna seemed to be meticulously examined by Claudia, who was always looking for small reasons to criticise or belittle her work. Claudia frequently came across Anna in the midst of conversations with clients, or dedicating more time to a haircut. Instead of recognising the value of these personal interactions, Claudia saw it as a waste of time. Claudia also made a point of being seen as the ultimate authority, often positioning herself in a way that underestimated Anna's experience and knowledge. In team meetings, Claudia often diverted praise and achievements to herself, ignoring or minimising the contributions and crucial role Anna had played in the salon's success up to that point. One quiet afternoon, while Anna was busy preparing her tools, a special client entered the salon. It was Mrs Eunice, an elderly woman with silver hair and a gentle smile, who had always been one of the salon's most beloved clients. Eunice had come for a simple haircut, but in the rush of the day, she forgot her wallet at home. Anna, with her warm heart and understanding look, noticed the worry in Mrs Eunice's expression. My dear, said Mrs Eunice with a trembling voice, I don't know where I put my wallet. I was so anxious to meet my grandson today. It's a very important event for us. I really can't go without my haircut. Anna, recognising the importance of that visit for Mrs Eunice, especially because she was getting ready for a special event with her grandson, said, Don't worry, Mrs Eunice, Anna said with a warm and reassuring smile. Today's haircut is on me. I understand that it's a special day for you, and I want to help in any way I can. Mrs Eunice, visibly relieved, smiled with gratitude. Oh dear, you don't know what this means to me. My grandson and I were so excited for this event. He's always so thoughtful, and today we have something really special to celebrate. I am so happy you offered to help. Anna carefully prepared the chair, adjusting it so that Mrs Eunice could sit comfortably. While preparing the materials for the haircut, the elderly woman chatted excitedly, her voice full of enthusiasm and anticipation. While the hairdresser worked with delicacy and skill, Claudia watched the scene with a critical eye. She couldn't hide her frustration as she saw Anna, 
with her typically warm and attentive approach, dedicating precious time to a client without immediate payment. The salon owner's expression hardened even more when Mrs. Eunice, now with her hair cut and styled, thanked Anna with a sparkle of satisfaction and gratitude. You did a wonderful job, my dear, said Mrs. Eunice, her voice full of emotion. Thank you so much. Anna smiled. I'm glad to know you're happy. Have a great day and enjoy the event. As soon as Mrs. Eunice left, Claudia approached Anna with a ruthless look. Anna, what you did today was completely unacceptable. You just gave a free haircut and had the audacity to disrespect our payment policies. Now you're fired. Anna, surprised and hurt, tried to argue, but Claudia's decision was final. She gathered her things and left the salon feeling desolate and confused. Thirty minutes after Anna left the salon, a sleek black car stopped in front of the establishment. The vehicle, surrounded by a small team of advisers and security, was a clear sign that something important was about to happen. A group of people got out of the car, and the figure of a distinguished and well-dressed man entered the salon, followed by an entourage that seemed prepared for a special event. Claudia, watching from her post behind the counter, felt a chill down her spine when she recognised the city mayor. Her expression of surprise mixed with growing apprehension. The mayor, in a well-fitted suit and with a cordial look, was clearly someone of great importance. The mayor, without wasting time, headed to the counter where Claudia was. Good morning, he said in a firm but polite voice. I am here to find the hairdresser Anna. She made a kind gesture today that I would like to highlight. My grandmother, Mrs Eunice, told me about the haircut Anna offered, even when she couldn't pay. Claudia, visibly stunned, tried to control her nervousness. Anna, she's no longer here. She was fired just a while ago, she said, her voice trembling slightly. The mayor frowned, surprise evident on his face. I understand, but I need to speak with her. My grandmother talked about the importance of people like Anna who, with simple gestures, make a big difference in the community. I was on my way to my inauguration and decided that this would be a perfect moment to record a video highlighting the kindness and positive impact of citizens like Anna. A good example for our city. Claudia's expression became a mix of embarrassment and confusion as she tried to process the situation. I... I am so sorry. If I had known, I would have handled the situation differently. Upon hearing Claudia's explanation, the mayor began to understand the situation clearly. One of the salon employees who had observed the conversation and the growing discomfort approached the mayor. If you want to find Anna, I know where she lives. I can give you the address. When they arrived at Anna's house, a modest home in a quiet neighbourhood, the mayor and his team were received by Anna with a mixture of surprise and curiosity. Anna, who was at home and not expecting such distinguished visitors, was informed about the reason for the visit. Miss Anna? the mayor asked with an expression of seriousness and gratitude. Miss Eunice, my grandmother, told me about the kind gesture you had towards her today. I'm here to thank you personally. Anna, still shocked by the unexpected visit and the situation she found herself in, looked at the mayor with a mix of surprise and apprehension. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I didn't expect this. I just did what I thought was right. The mayor smiled, conveying an aura of sincerity and respect. I understand, Anna, and that is exactly why I am here. I am recording a video to highlight the power of kindness and generosity in our community. Your gesture not only brightened my grandmother's day, but also reflects the true spirit of our city. We want to show the world how kindness can be contagious and spread. Anna moved, nodded and prepared for the recording. I am flattered to have had the opportunity to help, even in such a simple way. As the video was being recorded, the mayor spoke about the importance of valuing citizens who, with small acts of kindness, make a big difference in the lives of those around them. I am happy to have done something that brought a bit of joy to someone, Anna said to the camera, her voice choked with emotion, and knowing that this had such a positive impact makes me feel it was worth it. The recording was completed and in no time the video was published on social media and shared by numerous people. Anna's story and her generosity quickly gained prominence and went viral, with thousands of people commenting and sharing the video. Messages of support and job offers began flooding Anna's inbox, who was both scared and amazed by the amount of interest and recognition she was receiving. 
Claudia, upon seeing the repercussion of the story and Anna's prominent status on social media, couldn't help but feel embarrassed and regretful for the hasty decision to fire her. The former co-worker, now acclaimed and admired, was receiving praise and new opportunities that went beyond what she had ever imagined. Anna, with a smile of satisfaction and a renewed sense of hope, found new opportunities where her kindness and professionalism would be appreciated and valued. The free haircut, which initially seemed like the end of a chapter in her life, turned out to be the beginning of a new path. The way we treat others, especially in times of adversity, can create waves of positive change that extend beyond what we imagine. Her kindness was rewarded not only with a new job and recognition, but also with the certainty that small acts can yield great benefits. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.